Hi guys and welcome to your August 2019. This is the Divine Energy Oracle message for the beautiful sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hey Caps, what is good Capricorn Nation? I am Cap Moon, let's get it popping. So, if you are crossing with another energy, I just want to let you know that I will not read the message in its entirety. Instead, I will focus on the divine invitation. What is needed for you to attack the message and uh, go and work on this message is for you to tap into your divine energy and pour your energy into achieving the goal that's in the message or what you're being guided to do. If you're crossing with another energy, um, just go back and watch that video, Capricorn, if you have the time, because I know you busy working just like me. Okay, so Capricorn, for August 2019, you're being guided to choose friends wisely. Interestingly enough, oh, and that matches my nails. Interestingly enough about this card, Capricorn, you're crossing energies with a Gemini. Gemini got this message back in May. Choose friends wisely. Are you connecting with a Gemini? Is it a Gemini in your vicinity? What if, if you're not connecting and don't have it in your chart and you're not surrounded around that Gemini energy? Let's talk about this. Then spirit and divine is advising you to choose friends more like a Gemini. Maybe you're too rigid in choosing your friends. Maybe you're too loose. I doubt that you're a Capricorn. How does Choose Friends Wisely play into the Capricorn energy for August of 2019? Let's see. So Gemini being mutable air, Capricorn being cardinal earth. So hmm, maybe you should go with the flow a little bit more. When it comes down to your friends. Now, as a Capricorn moon, that don't even sound right to me. So rather than to try to figure it out, we're going to go ahead and read what Divine wants us to do as it pertains to choosing these friends wisely for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And remember, I uh, want you, hope you guys are having a beautiful August. And I hope this message finds you guys well and in good spirits. Let's get started. Capricorn, your divine energy is calling you. See, I said, yeah, I'm going to read all this. This one is a good one. I'm going to do this. I'm, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I advise you to go and watch Gemini's video, but I'm going to read this little card. Oh, yes, this is a good one. Ugh. Your divine energy, Capricorn, is calling you to peacefully release attachments with those whom, reson whom resonance does not exist freely without guilt. Let them go. Let them go. Snip them. Keep your heart and mind open. New and uplifting friends will soon appear. Out with the old and in with the new. This does not mean that you should break from those who do not agree with you. Ooh, there's that cap. Listen and learn from those who, like you, seek to grow and refrain from force and harmony with those who are not open to growth. Capricorn, it is not their time. I'm going to say this one more time. This is a good one. Keep your heart and mind open. New and uplifting friends will soon appear. However, this does not mean that you should break from those who don't agree with you. What this means is, is that you're supposed to listen and learn from those who like you seek growth and refrain from forcing harmony on those who are not open to growth. Now is not their time, Capricorn. Your divine invitation is to give time and energy to those who display an open heart and a conscious awareness that mirrors your own commitment to growth. Be honest about the influences surrounding you, Capricorn. You, you and you alone. Step away from those who don't get you or those who hold you back energetically too. I'm not talking about somebody come and hold you down by your shirt and say, Capricorn, you can't go. If they're harnessing that energy and it's toxic, snip it. Let it go. Okay? 
Even if this means that you must temporarily stand alone, Capricorn, understand, you'll find the right people when you leave the wrong crowd. You will find the right people when you leave the wrong crowd. Capricorn, now you better you better put your stamp on that. That's better than Michael Jordan comeback. If <laughs> you can tell me where that line came from, then you old just like me. Ow. So that is your message. Put your stamp on it, Capricorn. You're being guided to choose friends wisely. I love this message. I might drop it inside of the description box. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Certainly hope that resonated with at least one Capricorn. It definitely did for me. Don't don't even get me started. So uh, anyway, let me know how you rocking with this. Are you crossing with a Gemini? Did you have to cut a Gemini out? I don't know how you rocking with them. I don't know. But if that Gemini, I don't know. I, I typically am more inclined to tell you when you're crossing with another energy is positive, but not all the time. Because your situation is different. So don't let don't don't let me get started because this video will be way longer than it needs to be. I'm out of here. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Reach me by email. Email me at readers at marvelousmadam.com. I don't know what my eyes did. That's gonna look terrible on the playback. Um, and if you want to drop a like side in those comments, please do that. I'm out of here. Bye, Cap. See you guys next month when we do it again.